Today we're hanging out with John and Ina. You guys might remember I had them on a channel back in 2020 and they gave us a tour of a shuttle bus camper conversion. Today, they're gonna give us a tour of a Ford conversion van that they converted into a full camper van. Hi, thanks for having us. It's good to be back on the channel. Yeah. We sold the shuttle bus eventually um, and now we wanted another adventure vehicle, yeah. mainly for weekends. We do part-time traveling. So we recently picked up, well, not that recently, a couple months ago, we picked up this 2001 Ford conversion van, and it was with the captain seats and the whole TV and everything and the bed that converted from a chair to the back. But we stripped it all the way out. We put, brought it down to bare metal, got rid of the carpets, put in uh, wood and insulation, plywood, and then the hardwood flooring. And then we built all of the cabinets and we have up here uh, sliding doors where we keep our plateware and everything. And then up front where the TV was, we also have more sliding doors for all sorts of storage, whatever you need. And they go all the way around the whole entire uh, van. The We have the Ford Max Air fan, which everyone knows, and it's really great because it keeps the circulation in here. We have lighting all around. Um, and we also installed a 110 fridge again because we just love the simplicity of it. You can get it anywhere and we run it off an inverter with two 100 amp hour uh, batteries and 400 watts of solar. Everything else in the van is a uh, 12 volt except for the fridge and it's got this little baby lock because our first trip, oh, one sec, we were unsuccessful and the door threw everything out. <laughs> <laughs> and we made sure to get this right away and then it doesn't open. And then for each of the doors, we have uh, sailboat latches. And in this one, we have a little shelf here where we have our gas burner. You just flip over, screw the tank on, which everyone knows, nice and easy. And we always have our tea kettle just ready right there for whenever we want to cook. But what we love about this uh, burner, which last time we had this oven, which we, we love the oven, but on this one we got the burner and we did it a portable one instead of installed into the countertop so we can cook outside. We also went over here and we installed a lagoon table which actually is dual purpose because this is the bottom of the portion of the bed where my legs are. So it is a full size bed that Ina, our uh, lovely Ina over here, she cut a memory foam mattress that we bought and she made all the cushions and we sewed it up, she sewed it up and yeah. Here we have, we built um, the sink with, I don't know, the typical purpose where you can <laughs> put the sink out the door to maybe rinse the dog or your feet or whatever. A very deep sink to do the dishes. Um, we have a water pump switch. switch in the back here. And John, we just installed two simple uh, gray water and fresh water tanks. Mm -hmm. This makes it easy so you can just dump the gray water when you're in the right location or uh, you can just benefit from the hose going directly out the bottom of the van when you're camping in the wild. Here is just a light switch from conveniently when you enter the van you get uh, the controls of the lights, another entrance or like access to the water pumps. Um, you can fit some more dishes in there. And then we have our cutlery drawers. Cutlery and any kind of food stores you want to do. With the same oh. Hardware. Yeah, we got our mugs in here. <laughs> and then just other stuff. <laughs> do the, the seats. Just, oh, yeah, and then so under this, each of these seats, the uh, cushion okay. pops off and it's right by the wheel well. Then we insulated that with just Reflectix and some uh, fiberglass insulation underneath, and then plenty of storage. And then on the other side, actually, is our, you can access the electrical side, which here we have our inverter, which is a 500 watt inverter. We have a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter plug, so you can have a heated blanket, whatever you need. And the batteries are a little bit further underneath under this cushion here. We blocked out in the kitchen. We uh, realized we wanted to be more well insulated. So since we didn't need all those windows, we blocked it out, insulated it, and put up shiplap walling. Our bed is a standard size full bed mattress. We chose like a really good uh, quality memory foam mattress that I, we cut into the size of our dinette seating. 
uh, odd shapes and then I just made uh, cushion covers for each of the seats with uh, zippers which conveniently comes off so you can clean the covers when they get dirty um, and this excess cushion here in the middle fits in the middle of the dinette to complete the bed we take our coffee table off the lagoon foot and put it in the middle of the support beams the cushion goes on top and voila we have a full size bed <laughs> This van is actually a 2001 conversion van where it had the TV and the captain's seats like I mentioned before. And it has the 4.6 uh, Triton motor and it's got 118,000 miles on it. And we were getting between 18 and 20 miles per gallon on our trips. So that's really great for having your, everything you need to live in here. We didn't tow anything with it, but I know these things are rated for 7,900 pounds of towing. So if you want, you can tow your car behind you and you can leave this parked out in wherever you're uh, boondocking because this is set up to be a boondocking camper, which is the way we always like to camp. There are two other benefits to this vehicle other than the fuel economy is it has a full size passenger seat, which is much more comfortable for driving and traveling. and. It also fits in any standard size parking lot because it's just a regular size vehicle. It's 18 foot and that's pretty much every car you see on the road. It's perfect. Now follow around back for more storage and cooking opportunities. We built uh, two pretty good sized drawers. Um, John loves to still work on this finished build on the van. So on the roads, we have a lot of tools. It's literally our, our toolbox. But it also serves the purpose of an outdoor uh, table for um, the stove top that we have with the propane. We've cooked a couple of meals out here and it's uh, pretty cool. We put the burner here and then we use the second drawer for prepping, prepping the meal. Um, this is just empty at the moment with some groceries in it, but you can see it's pretty good size. And then this is also where you can access the batteries. Here um, on the four out of the six windows that have the magnetic frame, I made um, this reflective window cover and cover them and some black fabric just to make it more elegant, I guess. And I sewed in uh, magnets in each corner. So it just pops up like most other van curtains like that. But the other two windows, we put the regular reflective uh, at night. And then in here we have our two house batteries. We have two 100 amp deep uh, cycle batteries that we use to power everything in the van and that will last us a couple of days. It also has an isolator to charge off the alternator in case you're not getting enough sun or you want to run some extra stuff that might just be a little bit overpowering. And then back here in the corner we also have the Adventure Solar Charge Controller. And I like to keep it out because I like to monitor the voltage of the battery. That's something I'm always maybe a little bit neurotic about, you know, would say. Um, but I like to always make sure everything's fully charged and we're not overdrawing. So over here we have a USB uh, port with three uh, ports. And I did mention the solar charge control. Let's take a look at the panels. So up here we got the 400 watts of solar and then our max air fan. And it's all just works seamlessly for us, really. So uh, that's everything we got up there, but we uh, have some more plans. We're planning on selling this actually. You'll have to check out our Instagram page if you want to see what we're going to be listing it at. Norse Van Life. Norse Van Life. And we had changed our name where previously we were Seaward Shuttle. This is and no longer a shuttle bus. This is not a shuttle bus, this is a <laughs> van. And we are planning on moving to Norway and maybe going to start a little uh, van life business up there. Yeah, follow along if you want some more van life uh, in Norway or wherever we go traveling. Thank you very much for coming back on the channel to give us a tour of your latest creation. Back when we did that shuttle bus tour, it was like early pandemic, and there was a lot of people researching building school buses, RVs, vans, and your video did help a lot of people. It gave people a lot of ideas, inspired them to Good. get out on the road. And this is going to inspire people too, because not everybody has a budget for a Sprinter or Promaster van, the full-size van yeah. brand new to buy. You could buy one of these conversion vans at a relatively affordable price point. Mm -hmm. A couple thousand dollars. And then put some money into solar and batteries, a fan, water pump, and some furniture and cushions. 
and you got yourself a really good budget build. Yeah. So I think this is also going to help those people. I'll make sure I link to your Instagram because I'm sure our viewers are going to want to follow along and see what your next projects are going to be. Also, they might want to inquire about the one that you have here that's going to be for sale. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>